Hello and welcome to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in two days video I have another absolute trading masterclass for you. I'm going to be talking you through the rise of the last 24 hours. Some absolute key theory that you are not going to see anywhere else about this rise and then the actual trading position that I am in right now. So please do yourself a favor, pay full attention to this video, take out your pens and pencils, take out the notepads and get ready to learn. And I'm going to share with you some lovely theory with you today. So let's go over just oh, the, the, looking at this chart makes me so happy and it's not about the money that I made on this rise. It's just I love making good trades and I have some good trades for you today. So watch yesterday's video if you haven't already, by the way, because obviously the first words coming out my mouth during yesterday's video where I'm in a long position. OK, and from that long position, we've obviously went all the way up to higher target. Lovely. But nevertheless, I want to start off by talking about the 9,450 sell wall that many people were talking about while we were obviously below the level. Um, so this was my perspective on the sell wall. OK, I use sell walls, so I know all the theory behind them because <laughs> I'm part of them. So, you know, sell walls are really, really good to affect the market psychologically and emotionally. So let's talk. Well, you can use yesterday as an example over 100 million sell wall at a price. OK, and this was across several exchanges, you know, go on to BitMEX, go on to Bybit, go on to um, Binance, where it was primarily, you know, there was sell, you know, this same sell wall 9450 across all exchanges. And we're talking several, several hundreds of million sell wall, you know, crazy, pretty big sell wall. So what's the reasonings behind this? What was my perspective on this? I was saying where the majority are thinking that this is a safe short, they can short below 9,450. They can short 9,420, put their stop loss 9,451 and they're trading with the whale and they are safe in their short because if this person is wanting to sell or this group of people are looking to sell this level, well, they want to trade with the bigger trader, don't they? And the theory behind this is that this wall is set there. So people are going to be, be essentially selling at market into their visible sell wall. Or they could have a hidden limit order that is walking back up price to create this sort of ascending triangle, remove the sell wall, absolutely send it. That's the theory behind it. So as soon as I saw this massive sell wall, I was saying, I'm, I'm bullish. I'm expecting at the very, very least that we push up through this sell wall and remove everybody, you know, essentially stop everybody out that's looking to short at this level because just the, it's just was screaming in the, in the face that what majority are going to be looking at this bearishly. I'm looking at it fully bullishly. Obviously, I was right, but you know, you can see here the theory behind it, how you hit. This is obviously a high 9446. Okay, so people slightly even front running the sell wall that was there. And then you go into these higher highs, higher lows, come back up to the level, break through it. And from there, the rest is history. And I emphasize Mike's words, what he was saying earlier in the day as well, that, you know, if the sell wall is pulled, we're absolutely golden. It got pulled. We were absolutely golden. Anyone short in that level left behind in the dust as price never gave them really an entry. I do say that, but from this low to the high, um, you know, I personally took 13 trades during the whole journey. So, you know, this this is me. This is how I like to trade. And I know this is not for everybody. But during this, you know, during these upwards rises, I like to get it go in and out of longs, you know, going into a long, into a short, into a long, into a short. So I did take 13 trades during this, you know, during this rise. But I know many people and probably the majority are, are more interested in like buying at the low, selling at the high and just taking one trade, you know, from target to target, essentially. Whereas me... I'm a little bit different. <laughs> I love to do all these mini trades along the way. For me, I don't know. I just love it. But um, And also, it does maximize profits. So obviously, from that low to the high, let's say that's that's like a 5% move. Okay. But if, you, if you're you know, really maximizing your profits along the way by, by selling the high and then getting back in at a low of, of the drop. And you can, instead of taking a standard person that's gone from target to target here, 5%, you know, you can easily be taking eight, nine, you know, 10% sort of thing along the way if you're taking these mini scops. So that, that's why I personally enjoy it. As well as probably have too much time on my hands. But, you know, this is my this is my passion. I love it. But, um, you know, that's the theory that I wanted to talk you through here. And it's it's really the cell walls are psychological. They're, they're psychologically. And what I must emphasize, by the way, is that you cannot just approach every cell wall in the same way. Context, 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 as with every technical tool, is crucially important. If you cannot understand the context of why it's there and the underlying market conditions of why it's also there, then you, you might as well go to a casino and just buy and sell, buy and sell randomly on, on Reddit, a casino, because that's essentially what you're doing if you do not fully understand why the market moves, why they're there, the context of where we're likely to be pushing towards, where we've been bouncing off, all of these factors as well as many other. If you do not understand this theory or these you know why the market moves 
then yeah, honestly, you're probably still going to throw away money. And, and you are better off going to a casino where at least you have 50% probabilities, you know. Um, so, you know, that's that's kind of what I would give to you there in, in terms of the rise. And obviously from there, we did go... I mean, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud. So I'm going to say it again. Longing 9260. Obviously, in a short, switching that short into a long 9260 of original position. Selling at the high 9,772. That's longing the wick of the low, shorting the wick of the high. Absolute crazy, crazy, crazy accuracy there. Um, and, you know, many trades along the way. I'm not going to lie. There are many trades along the way. But, you know, that is where we come from and where we are now. And let's switch over to the chart, which I've been shilling for ages. The range, the range, the range. Have a guess what this is. Have a guess what the wick was. You will know by now. If you've been following this channel long enough, you absolutely know. It was the high, the low of our higher channel to almost the dollar. Just almost the dollar. You don't understand. I want to just scream and be like, Oh my God, I told you, there we go, there we go, there we go. I just love it, love it, love it. This is my, uh, I just absolutely love it. You do not understand how happy this chart makes me. And it's not even about the money. I honestly couldn't care less about the money, but this just, it, it just gives me so much joy. And especially because I can be like, yeah, I told you so. You know, when we were going from the low of this channel, I was telling, you know, I was, my, my words were, with every time we've gone, the rotation has been from the low, from the high to 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 the low, back up to the midpoint. We haven't seen a rejection from this at the moment. And so where we, we've actually done a full rotation of the low up to the high. And that's where we've that's where we've literally hit to the dollar. And that's where we're seeing this rejection, isn't it? It's just it's just wonderful. It's just it's just wonderful. Um so you know that's that's the current resistance that we're at. We are literally at the, the resistance there of around 9,770. Okay, 9,770. That's the current resistance that you are literally the biggest resistance on this chart at the moment is is 9,770. And um you know, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm going to show you the position that I'm in right now. There is a big, big, big difference between giving out nice charts. There's a big difference between me saying, you know, 929260 nine, nine, and 9,770. And there's a big difference between me identifying these levels and then actually trading and actually putting money on the chart. So here is the position that I am in at the moment. There is the short position being caught by the absolute wick, absolute wick. And as you can see here, all filled at limit. Okay, so limit orders, they're getting filled at 9772, nine, okay, which is obviously the highs. Um, absolutely wonderful. It's just, it's just absolutely wonderful. There's the refresh for the people that like the refresh. So, you know, again, trading and analysis, different things. You have to have the confidence in your analysis to actually trade, actually put money on the line, and then obviously to put money on the line and, and, and essentially make money. This is, you know, this is the Champions Challenge account where I am doing a challenge account where I'm recording these trades and the, the champions are going to see this theory like live. So this is invaluable. And so this is just the challenge account. This is overnight while I was asleep up $800. You know, it's it's, 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 it's pretty nice. Um, so, you know, that there's the account over on Bybit that I just wanted to show you here. And, um, you know, this is the levels that we are at. OK, so we have pretty crucial, you know, it's undeniable. Look at look at it. Just the, the, <laughs> there's the channel to almost the dollar. I mean, it's lovely. It's just so lovely. But, you know, this is the level I'm giving you. This is the technical analysis that I'm giving you. 9,780 resistance. OK, absolutely. We could actually break up from here and see another high. And then I'd be looking honestly towards 9,900, 10,000. I believe that's where we're going to be heading towards if we can break above this level. If this is the high and we cannot break that high, then, yeah, I, I would say you're going to be searching down towards at, le at least 9,500-ish as your, as your first trouble, uh, first tr sort of trouble area where you might be looking for, you know, potentially a bounce there. Um, but if we are going back into the rotations from high to low, then you obviously know that about 9,000. But, you know, I'm not going to say we're going to 9,000. I, I am more interested in the, as you know, I, I I take these smaller term trades. And I do get in and get out, get in and get out. And the next next really area that I'm looking, well, honestly, 9,620 9, 9, that we're at literally to the dollar right now, I, I gave to my team of support this morning. So 9,620 is a support and you're literally at it right now. So if you lose that, you're going to be looking down towards 9,559, you know, really 9,525, 9, I would say, to 9,000. 500 below that 9425 and here we go here's here's the drop as it's happening so there we go you can see this um and you know 
So you, you could potentially obviously swing failure these. So you can see swing failure. I, I do kind of want to go back and trade this. Like I'm looking to take profits. So I'm going to wrap this up a little bit quicker. But, um, you know, these are the kind of levels that I've been trading from. This is the theory of the last 24 hours, how I've traded this, how I'm maintained to trade this at the moment. I think you've got a key support. Well, we already you can see how if you swing failure this, this could be potentially bullish at the moment. Um, you know, keep your eye on the stock market. Obviously, it was lovely. You know, you saw the rise on the stock market yesterday, and this just gave confluence for Bitcoin moving up. You obviously saw Ethereum also moving up yesterday. That also gave confluence. Look at that monthly, by the way, un you know unchanged, just monthly, monthly big rejection. You know, I, I don't know what to say, but you know, it's just perfect. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll end it with uh, you know those final words of absolutely wonderful trading. I absolutely love it. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this technical analysis. I will end, actually, I've got a few things here to note uh, before before I cut off here. So a few things that I wanted to note was, uh, <laughs> obviously, if you're interested in Chart Champions, if you want to learn the theory behind this and also have my insights, here is a lovely example. <laughs> We're not a signals group, but nevertheless, this guy saw that I wanted a long 9260. He got in at 9270 and obviously, the rest is history. Made lovely profits off of that. Just, just you can pause and read the comments. Just, it's obviously wonderful. So if you wanna, if you want those insights into how I'm trading, and you want, you actually, you actually want to learn the theory and the knowledge behind these trades, which are just absolutely invaluable. Um, you know, we also have a contenders live stream tomorrow. This is for the contenders and the champions. Okay, where I go, obviously go into much more depth in depth than I, what I do in these public videos. So if you want to learn about the theory, if you really want to get into my brain, understand how I'm trading. Tomorrow we have a contenders webinar where I'm going to be going over over link. But nevertheless, the focus is going to be on the 80% trade setup. And this played out the last two days in a row. Okay, to get that long, to originally get the short to 9260 and then get the long, you know, this was all under this 80% trade setup. So if you want to learn about that, I'm going over th the theory tomorrow. More than happy to have you in the team. And I, I already know you're absolutely going to love it, to be honest. And as you can see, members also absolutely, you know, the comments speak for themselves. You know, I don't need to really shill it. But um, and I guess this is the last one. There, there was some print screens of, of, of those trades during the day. But, you know, just wonderful. It was. And um, so, yeah, there you go. I hope that you've enjoyed the analysis. If you have, I would thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate a like or a comment down below of what you've thought of this video. Maybe what you think I can do to improve. I know many people do not like the ego because, you know, they don't. They, they don't like me saying I'm the best trader in this space. But show me another trader that has called these levels to the dollar, to the dollar long in the, the long in the low, to almost the dollar short in the high. You, you, it's just impossible. Or maybe they might do, but then are they actually trading it? Are they actually making money? There's almost a thousand dollars overnight. I mean, there's a really big difference between the charts and trading, but you know, I'm going to wrap it up now. I don't want to go. I don't want to go on anymore. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed the analysis of today. You've seen how I'm trading. You've seen what I'm looking for. And then I've spoke you through some of the theory of why was, you know, why we thought we would get this rise. Okay. So again, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. And have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day, everybody. Cheers and goodbye. Bye.